so welcome back to my channel and in this video i will be continuing with the one of the videos that i have previously uh, prepared regarding how to correctly install and uninstall chimera and in this video i will explain how to add an alias to this chimera so first of all what what do you mean by the term alias so alias is basically um, a command or the changes into your system that will basically allow you to open chimera without every time searching for the icon of uh, chimera okay so in, in the ideal case if you want to open chimera what you need to do is you can just go to this place uh, which is an app drawer and you can simply open chimera okay so this is how you open chimera in the ideal case now uh, when we add an alias to it what will happen is that wherever we are in to this windows whenever we press control tab and t it will open a terminal okay so if you are working in a terminal and if you want to simply open chimera by a single command like suppose if i simply type c h i m e r a and hit enter uh, chimera will not open okay so we want whenever i type wherever i am in my terminal if i simply type chimera it should open UCSF Chimera. That is something that I want to do. And this can be done only with the help of uh, making some modifications into the Linux system. Okay. So that is something that we will be learning today. Okay. So uh, as you have seen in my previous video, uh, I showed you how exactly you can install Chimera and where it is getting installed. Okay. So it is basically getting installed into the root directory. So first let me go into the root directory. So I will go to this files icon, go to the other other locations and in this other locations where it says computer, uh, where when I click on this computer, it is going to take me to this directory which says the root directory. Okay. So once I am here in this root directory, I have to search for the folder. I have to search for the folder where Chimera is installed. Correct. So in this root directory the chimera is installed in this folder which says opt inside opt there is again a folder which says ucsf inside it there is one more folder which says chimera inside this folder there is one more folder which says bin okay so this is basically a place where the chimera is installed okay so you can also open chimera like this so if you just open a terminal into this folder by right clicking on this empty space in this folder click on this option which says open in terminal and as you see we are working in this directory okay and here there is a folder which says chimera so you can simply type full stop slash and type chimera and it will open the chimera so suppose if you want to open this chimera without going into this path or without going into the root directory locating it into the folder you can directly do it by creating an alias Okay. So first thing that we will do over here is to identify the location. So we will identify this location by identifying the address of the place where this chimera is installed. Right. So for that what we will do is we will open the terminal inside this folder. And we will simply type a small command which says pwd. Okay. So pwd will tell me that we are in this folder which says opt. Uh, slash opt slash chimera ucsf slash chimera slash bin and inside this bin folder we have this chimera uh, located okay so for that i can simply do ls and hit enter okay so this is the location that we are interested in so i will i will keep this terminal open over here and i will minimize this or i can uh, let it be over here no issues okay so now what I will do is I will open the bash rc file to make some changes. So for that I will open another terminal. So for that what I will do is I will simply click on or I will simply press control alter and T onto the keyboard together and it will open a terminal like this. Okay. So I will also keep this terminal uh, alongside and in this terminal I will write a command which will open the bash rc file. Okay, so I will type a command G E D I T G edit give a space slash full stop and B A S H R C. Okay, so this is basically a file of the system of Ubuntu. If we edit this file, we can give or we can change 
a command or we can change something into this file by which we can simply type chimera and open it okay so uh, i will just move it around a little so that you can get the idea so this is basically a file which says the bash rc file okay so in this bash rc file what you have to do is you have to go to this line which says some more aliases okay so under this you create one more uh, you hit enter and you create one more alias so like you just simply type a l i a s give a space write chimera and after writing chimera put an equal to uh, symbol and then you uh, you do this okay uh, and here inside you have to type the location of the place where chimera is installed so you have you copy this location so it is this location where chimera is installed then you put once you have copied the path where this chimera is installed uh, what you need to do is you press one more uh, forward slash okay then put a full stop again a forward slash and simply type chimera so what this does is that whenever you type chimera it will search for this location which is this one okay it will go to this folder and inside this folder it will run the command which says full stop slash chimera which is the ideal command to open chimera from this place okay so we have created this alias and you simply press on save okay so we have saved the uh, bash rc file you simply close it close everything okay so we have created an alias inside the bash rc file for ucsf chimera so whenever you want to open chimera in whatever place you are okay so you simply uh, if you are working in a terminal for instance over here like alter control t okay so you are working in our uh, this terminal and if you simply type chimera now and hit enter chimera will open okay so i hope this video is useful to you and uh, uh, this is going to basically help you to make your work get little more faster because when you are in linux you are working in this terminal so it does not matter where you are working in which folder you are working so for instance let me go to this folder and simply open terminal into this folder and if i simply type a chimera over here okay it will open chimera so wherever you are working inside the windows terminal inside the linux environment with the help of creating an alias for a chimera you can simply open it okay so i hope this video is helpful to you